Luckily, across the landing from Preservation Australia are the Furniture Conservation Boys, where we have three businesses of furniture conservation and restoration. While they're very camera shy, they have agreed to talk to us about some of the concerns that they would have with wet furniture, damage from floods or cyclones. So furniture and uh, other wooden objects need to be treated a little differently than book and paper, materials like that, because the drying needs to be much, much slower, much more controlled. So Adrian, what are some of the concerns with rapid drying of wooden materials? Uh, well, really the main concern is uh, certain joints uh, can restrict against other parts of the furniture. So if one rail dries quicker than another, it can contort the frames, uh, it can cause splitting in the tops. Um, so it's really important to slow that, uh, dry it out as slow as possible. Um, oh, in fact, the top could come right off. Or it could come <laughs> completely off. Um, so yeah, once water, if it's traditional glues, water can damage the, the glues in the joints so they can work loose. Um, veneers can lift. Uh, mm. If veneers come off, it's really important to, if they're completely peeled off, it's very important to obviously save as many pieces as possible. Um, for instance, uh, sheets of veneer can be put between paper and, uh, and just so they dry out properly and also be pressed to keep them flat, uh, obviously unless they're on a curved uh, section of timber. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you know the main thing is to just preserve as many pieces as possible. And if this desk were intact, I mean we're aware that this is a piece that's being worked on which is why we haven't got drawers, but if this had drawers and that lid was secure, how would we slow down drying in a, in a situation where we've been in a flood or a cyclone? We, we, could, we don't want to put it out in the sun so it just dries really quickly because we'd have splitting, is that right? Yeah, I mean, if it was put in direct sunlight, I mean, obviously the, the problem is the, the sunlight can not only damage the, um, the polish, uh, if that hasn't been damaged by the water already, um, it can also cause bleaching uh, and rapid uh, drying it will obviously split uh, the top. Um, so it's really trying to put it in an, air, an airy room um, with reasonable ventilation but no direct sunlight right. um, just so you've got some air movement through um, but like and we say, could put something over it perhaps to control it and it, the well, slow down the drying slow down, uh, the main thing is not to completely enclose it because you need mm. that air movement around yeah. um, uh, so you, know, you need that to moisture to move out of the piece Yeah. Um, because yeah. mould would be a real problem wouldn't it if we got mould Say mold's on a, on a surface issue. like this? Yeah, mould's an issue because it can damage the polished surface, but it mm. can also uh, leave spotting, um, right. black marks and uh, uh, various right. uh, surface damage. So, um, so it's mildew. slow drying, but be aware of mould yeah, issues. Yeah, mildew, mildew is obviously an issue yeah. um, uh, because it, it will affect the timber. I mean, it leads you know, to sort of damage into the polish, and it will also stain the, the timbers um, and uh, speckle okay. it. Thank you, Adrian. Okay. So Jeremy, with regards to something like a chair, if that had become quite wet and uh, damaged in flood waters, we'd need to handle it a little bit differently? A little bit, but uh, it's the same problems. You've got the joints that have probably swollen from the water and uh, weakened uh, the joints, uh, perhaps. And mm -hmm. if they've swollen open, um, then they'd need to be um, taken apart and uh, re-glued. Right. But, um, and and if you were like picking it up, you'd pick it up by the base rather than the back in case yeah, those right. joints had loosened? That's right, you wouldn't pick it up from, from there. Uh, the back here, the back rail, um, crest rail, because right. um, you, could, uh, you could damage it further. So you'd lift it, what, with the, the yeah, seat? You, you just lift yeah, it up like that, like that. just I carefully. Yeah. And um, just to make sure that uh, you weren't damaging it any further, you could just check whether anything was loose. Right. But, um, uh, and once more controlled drying. That's right. Keeping an eye out for mould and mildew. That's right. Is there anything else that people should be aware of or do you think we've covered all those points now? Obviously contact furniture conservators, restorers as soon as they can if they have a concern. Yes? That's right. Um, exactly. All right. I think that's it. Probably that's it as far as immediate um, concerns are. Yeah, immediate yeah. concerns. 
All right. Thank you very much. Sure, I can't get a shot of all of you now. Really? Backlit. Backlit. <laughs> all right. Thank you very much. And look at YouTube later on.